Okay, so as I said, before we go collect that molten anima, I want to go inside, back inside the Torgas, and see if we can actually get the info about where the rest of our allies are. However, before I did that, I realized I had that my one-handed was actually a higher weapon than my two-handed, so I re-equipped that. But then I also remembered they weren't enchanted. So I used my Death Gate to go back to Acherus and you know, on Azeroth, enchant my weapons with Rune of Azerus and the, one of the new runes, Rune of Asteria, which is... So I have one that increases my frost damage and one that increases my max uh, runic power and can increase my runic power uh, generation. Uh, for a period of time, so we're back to du to dual building one you know one handed for frost. So let's go back in the Torgas see if we can get some information about where our friends are, shall we? I know this means that we'll probably have to uh, you know go in, leave, and then and then come back because of you know having to go get that stuff for the uh, you know our new friend the Rune Carver, but. Um, I want to know where the others are, okay? We saved Bane. I want to save the other three. Just saying. Okay, apparently this is it right here. Before we do that, though... Actually, I think we're fine on food. Ah, the Soul Forges, a lair. I wonder if the info of where they are actually is a drop. Fleshcraft treats Maw Rats as powerful enemies. Chains of Ice binds enemies' health together, causing them to share damage taken. I hardly ever use Chains of Ice. Like, Chains of Ice is great for PvP, but I hardly ever use it, like, in PvE scenarios. I'm gonna do this one. I love that this is like a constantly changing tower. Like it's never the same. You never, you're always gonna have different challenges. It just makes it feel fresh like every time. At least that's how, that's how it initially feels. I wonder what people are gonna say a couple years from now. I'm out of range. and loot him. Free the remnant, or complete the binding and take the armaments. I'll try that. If that pops up again, I'll try it. Let's see if I can. Let's see what happens if I do that here. No. Can't tell what that actually did. Okay.
Man, that armor looks awesome. take this one because this actually uh, can help obliterate. That's right, line up. Gosh, I love that. Hmm. Let's take a look over here. far as we go. It's interesting there's enemies there when you can't progress past that. How many floors am I going to have to go up on this run in order to find the info about where our friends are? Again, I also want to reiterate, there is n not one mention about Horde or Alliance. I was hoping they were going to really just never bring that up, and it seems like they really are going to do that. They're not going to be, like, bringing up that stuff because, well, they just ended a war and such, and, well, there's no place for that here. Only lasts 15 seconds, but when it is consumed or expires, it explodes for 200% of the shield's initial value as shadow damage to all nearby enemies. Uh... You know what? Let's try it. It's an epic, so let's go ahead and try it. It only lasts 15 seconds, but apparently it's going to do a lot of damage.
Ooh, you saw that big explosion there? Hmm. 300 fantasma. Services for sale. I'm out of range. You know, you could have freed them instead of just me. For you, I offer only the finest. Until our next transaction. More, 300 more Phantasma. Everything is negotiable. What or who am I drinking? Oh gosh, that's horrifying. Your patronage is always appreciated. Increases Phantasma earned by 25%. Sure. Increases critical damage and healing.
I wonder what that lever did. So it looks like that is the next way. What is over here, though? Anti-magic zone lasts three seconds longer and it reduces spell damage taken by additional temps. Yeah. <clears throat> I cannot wait to see the list of all the different kinds of Torghast powers that you can be able to acquire based on either what your class or even your spec is. Like just a whole bunch of really fun stuff. There's like an extra puzzle here. Not good at these particular kinds of puzzles. Shock wave. Shock wave. If you already have this talent, you may select another talent in the same row. Hmm. The in oh, the inex oh, the inexorable assault talent. Oh, this one. Huh. Oh, you can gain an extra talent. That's cool. Yeah, I'm getting that. Bound in torment, free them, lest they be consumed by darkness. Huh, so the rune carver knows about our progress up here. damage you did when it exploded. Wow! <laughs> 
Indigo. Greetings, friend. Who are you? How are you walking around so freely? Please help us. My friend has been taken. I need to find them. Will you help? We must find Penthia. She can't have been taken far. Thank you, of course, for freeing me. Phantasma. Lichborn causes you to radiate death coils onto your targets or yourself while you are injured. You and your minions gain haste while you are inside death and decay. Looting and it Now, I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> Gives me more reason to just go ahead and use Lichborn. Let's go check out this room before we go through there. Especially since I think this is where his friend is. I don't have a target. <laughs> Shut away. I love that big cleave from Frost Scythe. Love it, love it, love it. There's your friend. There she is. Indigo, thank goodness. I thought I was We will finished. find somewhere safer to hide. Thank you for helping us. Okay. Pays off to help other people. That's closed off. I'm trying to think because there's something in the back of my head that makes me go, this reminds me of something from some other game of the idea of going into a tower like this and it's constantly changing. Like every floor is always changing. I feel like I've heard about something like this in another game. I just can't remember what.
So I guess the rune carver was referring to the fairies we found. He was letting us know there's someone here that needs your help. We're nearing the end. For you, I offer only the finest. Hmm. Yep. Look at that. Uh huh. Do I have that? I don't believe I do. I like that I can just stack up on all these powers. I can even stack them if I want. Look at this. I stacked this with two and increased it by, you know, now up to 12%. Remember, everything has value. There we go. May I tempt you with my words? Until our next transaction. So now I have five total. Okay. All right. Let's first get the flesh craft ready. Run. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Let me move my keyboard over a bit of a way from, uh... Oh! Oh, no! Oh, gosh, this guy hurts. It's okay. Health potions! Soul-touched key. Bolvar might be interested in this. Are the soul ashes... Oh, I can use these with the rune carver. So, yeah, the, uh... That key I just found is the info we need to find. Alright, so now let's go after this molten anima. We'll tell Bolvar about the key when we get back to Oribos. But since we're still here in the mall, let's go ahead and uh, 
go after this anima to try and help out the rune carver. Whew, that got close. It's a good thing I have all these health potions on me. That one actually does more healing. I wonder if that's somehow going to end up on the auction house. It was a quest reward, so I doubt it. That's where I gotta go, down there. Pandaren, the tortured embodiment of the soul before you burns with magmatic flame. Whatever purpose it was meant for here in the cauldron has since been served. The complete disregard for the remaining husk of the soul is unsettling. These efforts will continue if something isn't done. Send the inhabitants of Zolval's cauldron a message. The issue with trying to get some for this quest is that there's, you know, a lot more Alliance players here right now than Horde, which the fact that it doesn't let me share credit with them in a place like this is... Um, oh my gosh! Wow, that took so much of my health. Eat up. Boy, how fortunate was I that he just ran, or rather, that he spawned right next to me.
I see. It's far away. Alright, that's five. Huh, my max speed has been increased. All right, let's go back to the rune carver. I'm very curious what that Wrath of the Jailer is. If that's like a world boss. Oh, we're going back to uh, Venari first. Have you come to trade or to waste your breath? Your success continues to impress, Smallwalker, though I admit such feats are becoming less unexpected as I come to know you more. This ought to be enough to break the bonds that holds your newfound ally. Before you do so, I offer a word of warning. No creature imprisoned in that place should be trusted. Tread carefully, mortal. After all, it would be a shame to lose so valuable a business partner. Procure something of value. Break the Rune Carver free. found a way, but we only have one shot at it. Let's get you free. one of his arms. A taste of freedom. A place to start. I remember you. Of freedom. Of, of a sort. Yes, this is good. You have my thanks. What was it you wanted? Ah, power. Yes. Very well, then. Do not lose yourself to despair. Your first step towards obtaining the power is to retrieve... something. Yes, I, I believe it's coming back to me. Collect 1250 soul ash in Torgas. The past. Is a Doing you such power, there is a price. The ashen remnants of souls lost within this tower. Yes, ascend, mortal. Acquire what remains. Continue the campaign by accepting the quest, securing the house in the seat of the Primus. Okay. Well, my hearthstone is ready to go back there, but before we do, let's go back to Ouroboros and let Bolvar know about this key I found in Torghast that may help us find our friends.
I only got 120 from that. I mean, look, it was at 77%. I thought I might as well continue to up that. I can come back and do that later. Sense a familiar essence. The holder of this key may have been involved in the capture of Jaina Proudmore. I require time for further research. I will contact you once I determine our next course. The chains of the past still bind us. My arsenal is yours. Alright, so this is ready to go. So... Hmm, other necropolis. Unlock a portal connecting the seat of the Primus to the necropolis, Zeracris. This fully mobile necropolis provides an aerial advantage over all the houses of Maldraxxus. Use this to your advantage. It allows access across the entire zone. Flying Fortress. Unlock a portal beneath the necropolis. Exoramus, deep within the House of Rituals. Access to this portal is as dangerous as it is potentially advantage advant advantageous. Adds a portal to Oribos within your Sanctum. So I'll just have a straight up portal from here in my Sanctum to Oribos. That's awesome! Everything must be earned! The Primus once maintained a network of portals that linked the Necropoli of Maldraxxus directly to the seat of the Primus. The lack of anima and recent destruction of many of the Necropoli have rendered those connections inactive. With the anima that you have provided us, we have managed to reconnect one of those portals. You shall once more be able to travel to one of our great Necropoli, assuming it still exists. Reach out and claim your glory. I'll talk to, uh... Draka in just a moment. I want to check this out. This might even be a break where I, you know, or the opportunity for me to take a break to go do other stuff. Overlook, Seat of the Primus. Nurakir, the House of Eyes. Mythic Nathrian Warsmith. Hold on, let me take a look at this. Because I believe this is the stuff involving, oh, Here's some other vendors and such here. Covenant armor. In need of armaments? Aha. Uh -huh. And then you can... Ah. More pieces here. So this you can actually acquire. And then you can go Where's here to upgrade it. Spare parts? Wait, hold on. Whoops, whoops. Open for business. Ah, requires anima. 
And I do have to complete the uh, campaign and such. Battle Reckoner. Do oh I yeah, I already have that guy. Am I supposed to? Here! I have no need of these! Uh-huh. We earn everything we have! Well, obviously that's gonna be for later. Especially when it comes to actually getting into Castle Nafria. has brought you to me. It has been many eons since these portals have been active. It's most exciting. This was once a long, toilless ride, but not anymore. By simply stepping through this portal, you can now journey to the House of Eyes in an instant. The House of Eyes may not be what it once was, but valuable allies can still be found in the ruins of this of their once great necropolis. Travel there now to test the portal's functionality. Primus favor you. Huh. Gargantuous the gutter. Hello there. Brought me all the way up here. And I can return using that portal right there. The right lie can win a war. Is there any reason to attack him? No, nah, probably not. It's just interesting he's just right there. But yeah, that's certainly going to be handy. The air was once rich with anima. Like with more dust. work, we can establish portals to other necropoli around the Shadowlands. May your path keep you from the mob. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'll have to go right back to the mall. So, Draka, what's going on? Blood and thunder. Your journey into the mall was impressive, but it will take even more phenomenal feats to earn the loyalty of the Maldraxi. Increase your renown among our ranks. Mallwalker, the Maldraxi are dedicated soldiers, but they will not follow just anyone to battle. Let your deeds prove your worth to Every them. defeat is a lesson. Reach Renown 5. Yeah, this certainly feels like, uh, okay, it's time to now start doing, you know, these other extra things. Go out and do dailies, world quests, you know, stuff, you know, go into Torghast and other things, go into the Maw. All these different things, collect anima to upgrade the stuff. Yeah, that's, it definitely feels that way. So it looks like I have some off camera work to do before we can actually continue the story. Uh, this will also be a good time to be able to get some other alts going on other covenants. Don't be surprised if, uh, you know, well, I mean, it really depends on when I get around to recording them and uploading them, because you're not going to see this particular video some time from now, uh, from the time I'm recording it, uh, which is like on the Friday that this, of the first week that it came out. So, I have some off-camera work to do, but I also have to get some other alts in position to be able to show you guys the other covenants, because while you may be seeing the Necrolord Covenant in this playthrough, I'm going to try and do playthroughs of the other covenants involving a few other classes. Like, if you want to see the Venthyr, I'm going to get my Demon Hunter on the Alliance in position. From what I could tell, because I replayed the opening scenario with my Shaman, there's no reason to reshow it. There's no difference when you do it on either faction. So, you're basically just kind of powering yourself through that open, opening scenario just to get to Orvos, and then being able to make the choice to go straight to choosing a Covenant or choosing the main story. And then once I get those characters there, that's when it's like, okay, now I can be able to, like, you know, mess around with the Covenant stuff. 
while also leveling them. Now, doing the covenant stuff from level 50 instead of level 60 might be a little interesting. I'm not really sure how that's going to play out. But I'm not really worried about other characters like my Demon Hunter since he is mythic uh, Nylotha geared. But yeah, anyways, stay tuned.